Hi guys, today I have with us a very important person. He is none other than the alumnus of our college, SK Soma College. His name is Sunny Thakkar. And uh, he graduated in the year 2015 with a BCom Bank and Insurance degree. And since four years, he has been in the world of corporates. He has uh, worked with three companies. Presently, he is associated with Capgemini. He started his, his, uh, his uh, working with uh, Wipro. And so let us talk about your college experience when you uh, uh, came in this college in 2012. So, um, thank you so much for having me here, sir. Firstly, I'm really honored. And um, talking about college journey, because I would say that's where all everything started. That's where everything started in my life. You know, my life took a turn where I was a CR for three years. And in 2015, I became the Joint Secretary for the Cultural Forum for the uh, annual cultural festival of SK Soma and Utkarsh. Right? Those things actually changed the way, you know, I used to look at things. Like, before that, I was a very... A geeky person, you can say. I was completely into books. Uh, the current word can be nerds. I was, I was like that. Uh, but that thing changed me completely. You know that that actually showed me that apart from studies, these things are so important. And trust me, sir, those skills are actually helping me survive in the market. So currently. leadership lessons were learned by Sunny in college did itself. He was so appointed as the CR class representative, and in his graduation year, he was the joint secretary of the college. Exactly. Sunny, you started your career with Wipro and you were placed in the campus itself. Wipro uh, annually visits our, our, our college. Correct. So tell us something about, about this company, what profile, work profile you handled. Okay. Um, so to January, somewhere last week of January, Wipro came in in 2015, if I'm not wrong. And um, that's where, you know, I got okay. campus place there. And um, it was a, it's, it's a long journey that it was not easy as a process because we had mm -hmm. to go through aptitude after that personal interview, after that there was a presentation round and after cracking all this thing, we were able to get into Wipro. Mm -hmm. And um, Wipro, I can say one of the best company to start your career with. It's an Indian MNC. Uh, people there are very warm. They are they, they know where, they, where you come from. One very good thing about Wipro was they never ask you that what is your pedigree. In simple terms, they never ask you what is your background, right? Mm -hmm. um, that, that's that's something which I liked about Wipro. To talk about a little bit about the program which I was hired under, it was it was named at that time was People Ambassadors, uh, and we were batch of People Ambassador 2015 batch, and there were close to 90 plus students hired all across India from say Delhi, Chennai, and Tamil Nadu and everywhere. Other places. Other places basically, and and we all came together in Bangalore, and um, that's that's where the journey started, and that that was the point where I understood that you know the level of competition we have in the market. I was initially, the the vision which I had as a student was so narrow, was so limited that I used to think that, you know, I have to get into top five ranks of my class. But no, you're not competing with your class, you're not competing with your college, not even students in Mumbai, you're comp competing at a different level altogether. And, and, and Wipro is a company where you see a lot of engineers working. Exactly. So I think when you work with engineers and you being from a commerce background, Correct. so what was the experience of working with engineers? Because engineers have an analytical bent of mind, they do things very creatively. So how, how, what was the experience about? Um, see, engineers are not as different as, you know, um, as, as a human, I can say. They are, they are very, uh, it differs from person to person. They come, as you said very correctly, they have a mind, they have a very sharp a knack for analysis, right? They are very strong in that. And that's where the people coming from a normal commerce background like us, you know, suffer a little bit, I would say. Not completely, but a little. And working with them has been pretty much interesting because I learn a lot from them. I learn a little bit about technology, what is happening in the IT world, what are the technologies we are working with. We learn about AI and ML. At the same time, uh, if you see, they are in the world of HR as well. They are in the world of, they, they want, if you go in a bank, you will see few engineers working there as analysts, right? So they are getting into every sector of job. So it's not that a BCom person is competing with a person of BMS or B, a BBI or maybe BCom, but they are competing with others as well. So working with engineers has been a pretty good experience. So uh, Sunny was the campus recruiter in Wipro and he has visited many campuses including right. IITs and NITs and he has interviewed so many people. So okay. Sunny, tell us like how can our students benefit? Can you share some insights related to interviews where our students can insight how you judge people, how you zero down whether he is the right person who can be hired in a company? Can you tell us about it? Uh, interviewing students is not an easy task to be very honest. It's, it is a decision which you are making on someone's career, someone's life. It is that important as a decision. First we need to understand that. And 
it the style the interview style differs from people to people you know the way you interview a someone would be completely different the way i interview would be completely different but it comes down to one point that for what role you are hiring that person for once you know the needs of that role you can evaluate that person on those things like for example if i'm hiring for somebody something called a service desk or a call center job i need the person to be very strong in communication okay. right so i will look for that in the hr round so those kind of things are there so for any student a simple message which i can give is understand the job profile very thoroughly understand what exactly they are asking for understand what are your you know task which you need to do you see there are so many people who are worried about their english correct and they find that they are not able to present themselves and that fear is is always there in the back of their mind so can you right. elaborate some steps See, whereby people uh, talking about english is a very impo- is very important language but people don't understand that how important how you speak english is also very important in your hr interview we are not going to see your resume because the content in the resume can be copy pasted but the way you speak mm. is also very important people don't understand where to take a pause people don't understand how to stress on certain words they don't understand the importance of this this is verbal english and to be very honest for that's a it's a cheat sheet i can say it's my secret i have improved that or i have learned a little bit about it from by watching english movies it's as simple as that you watch avengers you watch any english movie you you are somewhere down the line you know trying to implicate what exactly they, how they are speaking that changed that changed the person you know who i am like you know a person who was who's not able to speak even a single line in english or maybe order a happy meal in front of mcdonalds is now doing presentation in front of 2000 people so that changed me completely so one more important thing like these days the recruiters they focus lot on the body language True. and and if i'm not mistaken you people also see the body language how does a person enter could you elaborate on it this front a little bit i will elaborate here see it it's like a checklist for us right once the student enter from uh, from in a, in a class or maybe in the interview room you from starting from the way the person is dressed to the way the person is sitting and the way the person leaves speaks a lot about that person it it shows that the person is energetic he's excited for this interview he's nervous he's not interested these three things actually you know is easily classifiable looking at students face or maybe body language we get we get to we you know, get to know that very easily to be honest after you take certain interviews it becomes easy for you at the same time uh body language during the techni- during the interview a lot of people don't know how to react when they are nervous they are their thumbs go like up and down their the legs are shivering like this so what is the so, ideal posture when a person interviews ideal posture you just have to sit straight like this your hands should be maybe on the desk like this, this. Okay. or you can just sit relax sit comfortably keep it that on your lap maybe okay. don't worry about your body language if you are coming with the right mindset you will be able to crack it and your body will react in that way that's okay. that's the simple so sunny tell us about your pg experience i think vipro has financed your mba could you just elaborate on it oh that's that's like a that there was like a one more given thing why i actually opted for vipro and moved out of uh, mumbai i have been in born and brought up in mumbai never went out but i was in bangalore for 3 and a half years and one of the reason was this right um, they offered us an executive post graduate diploma in business management from symbiosis international pune now this sounds a little long and it's as fascinating as it sounds because faculties from inter, uh, symbiosis international pune they used to fly down every alternate week and saturday and sunday to bangalore to teach us so like for five, uh, in a in a seven days a week we five days we are an employee of a, employee of the company and last two days we again become students you learned an important concept there if i'm not mistaken ah, yes 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 we have discussed what about this that uh, one of the concept is called raci chart right you know i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it right but uh, it stands for responsibility accountability, accountability. uh consult and inform inform correct this chart was actually uh, taught to us on a saturday or a sunday i don't remember clearly but it it was something which me and my colleague actually applied in our team what we did was we took a particular x activity mm. we noted down the steps required to do that activity and noted down the people involved in that activity that who is responsible for this particular step who is who will be accountable if this if this thing goes wrong whom you need to consult if you are stuck somewhere and whom you need to keep informed in all the steps as simple as that so how do you find the corporate world now you are associated with cap gemini so how oh. do you find it is it like people say See, a lot of people say that you know the graduation is done now my life is settled that's first which is the first wrong step you can start with right your graduation as i said as we have discussed this and it's actually the just a ticket for a marathon right now you have got the ticket now you have to run fast to win that marathon that's what a graduation degree is that's the that's a very step. important point yes that's the first step 
The second thing goes is a, a lot of mistake. Uh, this mistake is something a lot of freshers have been doing this, and I have seen this. I have done it on my own. That you know, when you go to office, they do a very big mistake of mixing friends and colleagues, right? In office, you get colleagues. You don't make friends. You make okay. colleagues. You have to have to maintain a very professional relationship with them. You cannot mix your personal life with your professional life. It will backfire on you. Yeah, again, there are certain exceptions where you find really good people, genuine people, when you connect with, and you know those that friendship stays for a long time. That happens, but overall, in corporate world, you have to be very careful because you don't make friends there; you make colleagues, or colleagues, whatever you call it, and that's the mistake which every fresher or maybe majority of the fresher will do. Because they come from a college mindset, and you know it's friends. Everybody, everybody are friends, and they mingle with everyone. Second, third mistake which they do is um, they demean a particular job, right? You know, um, this is something which we have seen in this generation, millennials. I, I coming from the same generation. If you give me a particular job, and I feel it's not worthy of you know my, it's not worthy of me, I will not do it. I will feel that you know it's a demeaning thing for me. That's how it is, and that's where the matters. You know, it it hurts their ego. That yeah, ये छोटा काम है ये थोड़ी कर रहा है मुझे. That's not the right thing. That's not the right approach. That clearly shows your attitude. And you know, in corporate world, as my manager used to say, you are always being watched. Every single minute, every word you speak, whatever you are doing, everything is getting recorded. Okay, Sunny, when you hop a particular job, and you have you have hopped two jobs, hmm. with Vipro and one more startup. Correct. So what is the ideal answer that you give to the new recruiter why why do you want to switch so on the jobs that's truly honest that's a, that's a big secret i cannot give it right away but uh, we usually try to see the person who is uh, asking this question is also an hr i am also an hr so we both understand equally and uh, we give the answer whatever we are you know we are looking for if i am looking for a higher package i say them that you know somewhere down the line i am looking for a higher package and and you know maybe if i'm looking for a better role i say that i'm looking for a better role you i usually prefer to be as clear as possible because that should not come back to me that's my preference but people can hide things people can say anything but again that's my choice now sunny you are being interviewed at that time where a new aspirational fy has come to the college correct and a knowledgeable lot of tys they are into the market correct. so what will be your message to these millennials millennials a simple message uh, don't do the mistakes we have done like you know the people who have passed out like sir has been telling us from day one to start reading news and uh, to start reading anything basically his idea was to read something know what is happening outside the world because in college and I've, it's not only about millennials it's about every single person who has been through college will experience that they have their own world inside a college right they have their friends they have their family they have the studies the notes everything they're so tied up with these many things they forget that there is a world outside waiting for you right they forget that completely don't do that mistake and sunny what is your future plan by the way <laughs> <laughs> sir i really you know i was very much inspired by you and a lot of other faculties in somaya and this has been my inspiration from a long time even maybe before joining somaya i was i was very clear that i want to get into teaching field i want to become a professor because our maybe my vision somewhere down the line is matching with the current prime minister where scaling up india is something very important making india more skillful is something very important which i feel and i really want to contribute for that and that's the reason i'm here thank you sunny for the sweet talk it's a thank saturday you. rainy day and he has spared his time for this interview <laughs> thank you so much thank may you, i wish you all the best for your careers and all the endeavors that you take thank you Great so much